I like very much the comment that, that Catherine made about um, some of these choices and decisions are made really with a great deal of body language as opposed to any sort of detailed research uh, activity around where is where can you find the best talent. So the numbers of people who come to get some detailed research, mm. some deep understanding of where to find the best level of competence, come to the search industry to do that here in Hong Kong is not as great as, as you might find in, in, in other jurisdictions. What we do know is that this is no longer just an issue about equal opportunity. It's an issue about business outcomes. Uh, report the work that, that Professor Mack has done, all of us are telling us that the, the boards with the highest proportion of women, female representation are just returning different results. It's a high return on equity, it's a high return on invested capital. So it's a simple matter right now of what is, it, what is the right business case around change in the composition of boards. In my view, that's a bit unfair. It's kind of saying that, you know, why don't you have to demonstrate that having more men on the board improves short-term performance? It's, a, it's kind of like, why are you kind of having to, to show a proof that there's a link, but yet you don't have to show a proof that more men actually improve performance? So yes, very definitely contemporary uh, organizations that recognize that in the 21st century post-industrial societies and the organizations within those communities, the sets of capabilities and competencies that are necessary at board level are just not the same. They're different. And what I mean by that is that there's, um, there's a particular set of technical, tactical skills that anyone needs to be on a board. And their experiences and knowledge and skills that you gain through various levels of seniority in the organisations that these candidates work in. So that, that's clearly a given. Men and women can attain that level of, of skill set um, equally. There's, there's a much stronger emph uh, emphasis on the skill set that seem more natural to women. By that I mean the, 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 the uh, skills that we describe sometimes as emotional intelligence or, or social intelligence the skills around um, uh, collaborative work practices, the skills around um, a deeper, seems to be a deeper capacity for research and detail. So these, th these kinds of capabilities, we, th there's, there's definitely a, a, an interest in finding that kind of balance. Within the human person, we, we have the full range of emotions. Mm. So, you know, for people to be more empathetic, for people to be more interested in, in certain areas, both men and women have it. Um, and it's about, you know, creating a, a, a group of people. In this case, we're talking about a board that has a, a good representation. I, I sit on uh, three nonprofit boards, and one of them is a listed company. And when I was recruited, I didn't go through a, uh, didn't, didn't go through a, a, a headhunter. They were direct approaches, and I wonder how many direct approaches there are. And uh, one of them was to say that we need some environmental competence. Mm. So they were looking for somebody with some yeah. competence. They happened to land on me. I, mean, I guess they could have landed on somebody else. They didn't say, I want a woman, and, and you have some competence that I want. I mean, if we're talking about in Hong Kong in general, right? And I think uh, uh, community business is looking for ideas. Uh, and Charles Lee sort of gave us a challenge, right? You know, uh, uh, next year when we come back, what are the ideas? What is the message that we want to get out there? So how, how can we be persuading the, the, the companies in Hong Kong that when they're looking for their independent directors, that they should just have a more uh, objective uh, process? There's another trend going on in Hong Kong, which is that, as you said, there are more women than ever going to universities. And in fact, the number of university, uh, uh, st uh, well, the enrollment, the women have already exceeded the men. Is there, th or do you see, I mean, maybe elsewhere in Asia, I'm sure in Singapore and other places, do we see this surge of, of women coming into the workforce? I mean, they're there, but they're going to move into more senior position in a, in a whole wave. That even though with the drop off, um, there, would, there should be enough women there rising into senior position. So will we nevertheless see many more women to choose from as they search further up? To me, the reason why we are seeing this kind of uh, very low percentages 
really has to do with the very, very informal way that bots go about identifying the kind of mix of skills and experience they need and the skill gaps that are present on the board, the very informal way in terms of how they assess the effectiveness of bots, and the very informal way in terms of how they bring those together and, and recruit search for directors. Uh, so to me, those are the key underlying causes. Unless we kind of change mm -hmm. the, the, the way uh, companies go about recruiting directors, I, I still think that that's going to be that big drop off. I think there's already a plenty of qualified women out there. Mm. So to me, uh, I think your first question was how do you convince companies? I've kind of, you know, over the last 10 years, I've decided that you, sometimes you kind of need to take a bit of a sledgehammer, you know, and, and, and in Singapore, one of the things I do is I pick on companies and so on. <laughs> and I, I single out them out. I try not to get sued. I never have. Uh, and pick <laughs> on individual directors. You need to. You know, there needs to be pressure, you know, and, and there needs to be pressure from, from different uh, advocates, for example, and there needs to be pressure from the investors. I think at the end of the day, shareholders going to general meeting must ask a lot more questions in terms of, you know, you are proposing these directors up for election. Did you recruit the director from the golf course, for <laughs> example, or did you go through a more formal process?